Yeah, can you feel it? Good vibrations. And I'll tell you why. Out of the 338 MPs, uh, how many there are there in the House of Commons, every one of them clapped. Not one of them has a grade 10 history credit because as soon as the House Speaker said he fought against the Russians in World War II, anybody with a brain with a grade 10 history credit in history would have known that the Russians were on our side. They're all complacent and they're all responsible. Now for them to throw the House Speaker underneath the bus and have him resign, no, this goes right to the top, okay? Justin Trudeau needs to go, period. No ifs, ands about it. His wife's now living in uh, New York City, I think. She packed up the kids. She's living there till the divorce is final. She's bailed on the country as well, okay? This is not his first blunder in the last week, okay, with what's going on in India. Uh, it's a mess. It's a mess. I can't count from the SNC Lavalin, from the uh, ejection of Racy, uh, uh, Jody Race and uh, Ray Bolt from Vancouver, Jane Pillpot, he's thrown them all underneath the bus. This guy is incompetent, and for the NDP to stand by and allow this to happen in the House of Commons, they need to go to the Conservatives. I'm on the fence about the Conservatives, really I am. But they clapped also. Enough's enough. We're the laughing stock on the world stage right now. This guy served for the SS. He wasn't a German soldier. I get it. Lots of German soldiers came to Canada, North America after the war. This guy was the cream of the crop. SS. Not cool, not cool folks at all. Not cool at all. I hear there's a convoy headed to Toronto. Okay, breaking news. It's on the news. They're blocking off streets right now. And under save the children, you want to save the children, get rid of the Nazis in Parliament. They called us Nazis when we were in Ottawa for the convoy, called us racist, misogynist, expialidocious. We just found out who the fucking Nazis are. And the shit with Zelensky, another 650 million, brings them to almost $10 billion. Uh-uh. It's time for a new government. Step down, Trudeau. Do the right thing. If you can do the right thing. I've never heard of anything in fucking politics. This guy's gotten away with more than John Gotti in the Gambino crime family in New York in 1990. Not cool. Not cool. Now you got East India, uh, India looking at us. You got the Poles pissed off. Okay, because a lot of these pe uh, people were sent to concentration camps and death camps. Okay, you got the Arabs pissed off. You got the Poles pissed off. You got the Jews pissed off. Not cool. And I'm fucking pissed off. So like I said, there's a thing going on in Toronto. If you're in the area, check it out tomorrow. They're blocking off streets. Okay. How many SS are still in Canada? Probably not many Kyle Stewart because he's 98 years old. He's probably one of the last living SS guys. And here he is getting a standing ovation for his accomplishments. He's the first guy since 1941, the first SS German Nazi since 1941 to get in a standing ovation anywhere, and it happened in the House of Commons. Not cool. It's time for Trudeau to go, plain and simple. And he could say whatever he wants. There's going to be, unfortunately, there's going to be uprisings. Right now you see uh, the... Uh, the Palestine uh, Indians against uh, the Punjabis. Okay, uh, you got the Eritreans against the Ethiopians. This shit's happening on our ground as we speak right now. Okay, he's trying to pit the whites against the Arabs, the Arabs against the Jews. Enough's enough. It's time for him to go. He is an incompetent leader, and it just showed this in the last, well, it's been shown for a long time, but it's just showed in the last two weeks with the blunder with India and the shit that just happened in the House of Commons. And if you're happy with that, I don't know what to say. Put the pressure on your local MPs, Brian Massey. Every one of you guys need a re-education in fucking history. 
As soon as the speaker said he fought against the Russians in World War II, should have brought up, uh-oh, weren't the Russians on our side in World War II? Yes, they were. And they were fighting Nazis. With all that being said, I'm one pissed off motherfucker today. Have a good day.